For as all of us, group one, you are the commitment group. So your task will be in a moment is to get a few tables, go down to near the livers and kidneys and spleens and things, <laughs> get your group together, and you need to come back at 7.25 with answers to these questions. What is it? What is commitment? How would you recognise it? So what I mean by that is if I walk into your training program and I look around and go, oh, what a bunch of committed athletes. That's a committed group. I've never seen such commitment demonstrated by a group of athletes. What, what am I talking about? How do you recognise commitment? Yeah, well, I think you do. And then how do you coach it? <coughs> how do I coach commitment? And I'll tell you again. Kid sitting over here, little Johnny. Poor Johnny's responsible for everything. Little Johnny's there and he's not performing. I say, Johnny, you're not fast enough. What can I do with him? Kid's not fast enough. What do we do? Train hard. What? No. Spoken like a triathlete. <coughs> oh my God. What would I do if they're not fast enough? Get them up, doing all the speed. Speed work, speed development, plyometrics, power training, box jumps. Come on, guys. The what's are everywhere not strong enough, what do I do? Strong. Strength training. Running up hills, carrying goats. In gyms. Alright? Strength training. And those things are real. But anyone who does a two day fitness course can figure that stuff out pretty quickly. First session, physiology. What is strength? Strength is your ability to move a rep once. Yeah, it's great. Uh, examples are this. Anyone off the street doing a basic first level coaching course will understand speed, strength, agility, endurance. That stuff is not where it's at. That stuff is everywhere and everyone's got it. This is the art form and this is what differentiates you guys from just ordinary coaches. The here up stuff. Johnny, you're not committed. Coach that. And if you can't coach it, don't say it. Don't look an athlete in the eyes and say to them, the reason you're not performing is you're not dedicated, you're not commitment, you don't have integrity, you have no confidence. You are obligated. If an athlete has come to you and said, coach, I want to be the best, you're a performance coach, help me get where I want to go, if you can't coach the attribute you think is essential, don't say it to them. Because you can't help them. But I suggest you can. By 8 o'clock tonight, you'll understand why. All right. So... Commitment group, all those I said, one group, down in that corner, answered these three questions. The confidence group, would anyone say confidence is not important? I didn't think so. Confidence is vital for success in so many endeavours. You need to be able to coach it if you're going to make a difference as a performance coach. Same thing, group two, come together, say, well, what's confidence? Share your ideas and your experiences and your learning. How would I recognise a confident athlete? A couple of easy ones would be what? Body language, presence, attitude, and a whole range of other things. How do I coach confidence? Because again, guys, think about it logically. Is confidence important? Yes. Am I a coach? Yes. Does an athlete need to be confident? Yes. Then I have to be able to coach it to the same level of precision that I can coach strength, speed, power, agility, and endurance. I need to be able to understand it and coach it. And then the third group, mental toughness. Again, cab talk. Ah, bloody Aussies, they're not tough enough. They're not mentally tough at the moment. Like, oh, great, beautiful. What is it? How would I recognise mental toughness? Apart from boof. <coughs> and how would I coach it? So let's go group one down there, group two sort of over here, group three up here. You've got until 7.25 to come back with answers to those questions. Move your chairs, get some notes. Grab something to eat and drink while you're doing it. Let's keep the energy levels up. Grab a chair if you want. Tables, sit on the floor, whatever you need to do.